Missouri Bridge Consultant John Mann had the unique opportunity to compare nearly identical short span bridges in his home county of Audrain County, Missouri. He collaborated with University of Wyoming engineering professor Michael G. Barker to perform a true apple-to-apples comparison of superstructure and total construction costs for steel versus precast concrete in short span bridge applications. There's a preconception that concrete bridges are always less expensive in the short span market. But many of us know that that is not true. Counties know it's not true. States know it's not true. But overall, there is this preconception. So to study the true costs of steel versus concrete, we looked at two nearly identical bridges in the state of Missouri. Audrain County built two bridges last year. Uh, the 411 bridge was structural steel in the 50-foot range, and the 336 bridge was, was selected to be precast concrete, and it was in the 50-foot range. They went with the precast on the 336 bridge because that bridge is frequently inundated. It will go into water several times a year. Both of these structures were built by the same crews using the same equipment in the same construction season. We tried to look at just the superstructures, uh, that way eliminating any difference that might have been in substructures, roadway costs, seed and mulch, guardrail, things like that. The results? A decisively strong showing for steel. The steel short span superstructure provided a 25.8% cost savings, with an overall 19.3% savings in the total cost of the structure. Built in 2012, Audrain County Steel Bridge 411 has a 47 and a half foot span and 24 foot roadway width with two feet structure depth plus slab and no skew. The basic superstructure design consisted of four weathering steel stringers. The total cost for the project was $111,000 $853. Also built in 2012, Audrain County Concrete Bridge 336 has a span of 50 and a half feet with 24 feet roadway width and two feet structural depth on a 20 degree skew. It consists of six hollow core precast slab girders. The total cost for the project was $154,035. The short span steel bridge superstructure only construction savings were 25.8% compared to the precast concrete superstructure. The steel bridge 411 superstructure cost came to $37.54 per square foot. The precast bridge 336 superstructure cost totaled $50.61 per square foot. All totaled, there was a 19.3% total bridge cost savings with steel. According to County Engineer John Mann, the lower square foot price for the steel bridge was driven by several factors. Steel girders were less than half the price of the slab girders. For crane costs, Audrain County was able to use its own 30-ton crane with steel bridge 411. For precast bridge 336, the county had to rent a 100-ton crane to handle the heavier load. So the importance of this study is to show engineers and owners of bridges that they could get more economical bridges out of steel than in concrete in certain circumstances. This is not just these two bridges. In the same county of Missouri, we examined steel bridges and concrete bridges in addition to this case study and found that yes, concrete wins some of the time and steel wins some of the time. But overall, steel is less expensive than a concrete bridge. There are many benefits in using steel in the construction of all types of crossings. Studies have shown that prefabricated steel bridges are cost effective with other materials when labor, including the use of local crews, and time to install are considered. This information is further validated by comparing the facts and figures of the Audrain County bridges. The regular bridges that aren't frequently inundated, uh, known as you know just what everybody calls a span type structure, we generally go with structural steel from the 30 foot range up to about the 70 foot range. In that range, the structural steel is the most economical structure we can find. Structural steel bridges are a good product and they work for us in central Missouri.